jam in it right here, and a fan goes on when a jam goes in, and that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, this is my contraption here. First row, start button. I got a delay, a start delay timer. All so right. you hold this button in, and it delays for a second. The amber light down there. The amber light's right down here. All right, good. Basically, when the green light goes on, the amber light goes off. Yeah. What's that rubber band? That is generating power, as you can see. That's just a little DC motor right there. When I start that thing up, watch this motor over here. That's powered off that little motor. That's what's coming out of that little tiny motor. You ask somebody to do a little favor, what'd you get? We got seven volts DC right there. We're gonna we're gonna check our amperage too. Yeah, I don't think that. <laughs> Just trying to Got about two milliamps coming out of that. That circuit is a cool one right here. Basically it's hitting this one and that flips the relay, flips it in reverse, sends it back. Sure. When it hits this one, it flips back. Show over the right counter. Over. The counter is counting every time it's going. You can see it's counting. See it? Restart at zero. It's counting. This is a reversing relay right here. And you can see when it hits. Cool. And it's actually resetting this timer. That timer is, is a cool like a uh, fault system too. So if there's a jam in here, watch what happens. System shuts down. So if it doesn't hit one of these in the right amount of time, it's counting down. Every time it hits there, it resets the timer. It's to the main system over here too. So if you stop it over here, it's going to shut everything down, not just that. There's also another. This right here will introduce a fault. This is whatever you want it to be, some kind of something. Something spilled, something didn't come out. Safety, a safety door. Whatever, a safety thing. The other sweet thing about this thing over here, you can speed that baby up by changing the voltage. That's 12 volts. That's 9, 7.5, 6. Now that'll time out if I go any lower because it's going to move so slow this. It's going to shut the system down. It didn't, have, it didn't make it over that time. That's pretty cool. So it's almost like um, it's almost like somebody okay, you know, somebody's diving in the water and you sit there and wait for them to come back up. And if they don't pop up at a certain time, you go in after them, or you, or you let them down, or you let sure, or you let all the water out, or whatever. You know, you can make this into whatever you want it to be. Um, so. Or you give them miles and miles after they do come up. This this right this here alarm is. I didn't have another 12 volt output. So that's why it only runs when that's on to start the system up. Backing up. So basically that's, in a typical system like over UPS, we have our conveyor belts. You hit the button and it, you'll hit the button and it'll alert somebody that the belt's going to turn on in like three seconds or whatever the time is set. So I can set that whatever I want based on this timer. I got something else that's pretty cool too. Faking it out, I'm, I'm making it think that when it leaves that one, it's already over here. So then it just sends it. <laughs> of course, if I hit this one, it's going to stay going that way. This thing right here is, the, is a proximity sensor that you can see. You can put almost anything in front of it, and it's going to, you know, set it off. Now watch this. I can right from the computer do some programming here. Did I catch it? No, never Check this out. I'm not touching any buttons over there. I'm just playing around on the computer right now. Turn that to one. 